Hey friends! Welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new. My name is Kay. This is Clover James. I'm a professional home organizer and soprano here in the Boston area, and I'm here to inspire you to love your home as much as I love mine. The entryway is an area that I get called all the time to fix because it is just such a dynamic area that people are coming in, they're going out, they're bringing stuff in, they're, <laughs> they're taking stuff out, and it can be a really hard place to get organized. So today I'm gonna give you a tour of my entryway and and give you some tips so that you can keep your entryway organized. All right, you ready to get started? All right, let's go. So this is the main entryway of our home. This is the largest entryway we've actually ever had in any house. We have lived in apartments where we had just a little tiny corner of an entryway and we've lived in apartments where we had no entryway at all. You just stick your keys on the wall and that was it. So this is the most space we've ever had to work with. But these tips will apply to any sized space. So right as we walk in the door, we have this beautiful rug and it catches a lot of the dirt and dust that we may bring in the house when we come in. The most important tip I can give you is to have a rug that is washable. If you really want to have a rug in your entryway, it's going to get dirty, especially if you live in a place like Boston where there is lots and lots of weather. You want to make sure that you have something you can wash. This is from Target. It is so, so pretty and it washes really great in the washing machine. Ruggable is another good company you can purchase from. They have a lot of really cute designs. A nice entryway rug is definitely going to save you some time and uh, sanity cleaning up your space. Now in this first left hand corner we've got a lot going on. We have got a entryway table. This is from West Elm and this is a great piece of furniture because it's simply a place to put down your stuff when you come in the house. We've used it to collect mail when we come into the house, the keys, my AirPods, any kind of makeup I was carrying that I want to put down. And we even have two amazing drawers. I can stick some masks in here. So if I need to take new masks out, I know where to grab them from. And a box opener is another good thing to keep in here. This is a really cool box opener from Slice. It's got a ceramic blade, so it's really not gonna cut skin as easily as metal. It's gonna be a little safer to use. And if you have a box opener near your entryway, you'll have more success in getting those boxes open when you bring them into the house. Highly recommend, because I see a lot of boxes enter clients' houses and they don't get opened. So make sure you are ready to open your Amazon packages when you bring them in. I just mentioned it, but almost as important as a box opener is a place to put your keys down when you come into the house. If there is nowhere to put your keys, you are going to lose them 100%. In previous homes, I was putting my keys on a hook that worked really well. I even had this cool magnetic hook where keys you just boop, put them up there and they, they just magnetized to their organizer. But in this home, we have put them in a bowl and that works great too. You just grab them and go. As long as you have a dedicated home to the, for the keys, it's gonna be a lot easier. The really cool thing about our entryway table is it's got a place for things that need to leave our house. And I call this our outbox. And every home should have an outbox. So these are things you need to donate, these are things you need to maybe return, or things that maybe belong to someone else and they left them at your house. They should have a place to go. Maybe you need more space, that's totally up to you. But we just find that this bin works well for us. This is some makeup that I'm gonna give away. We got some canned goods that we're gonna donate in there. This way they're already near the door. They're almost, almost out of your house. And when this fills up, you know you have to do something about it. So highly recommend the alt box method. It has been really successful for us. And all you need is a bin or a box. You can get a cute one like this or you can get some, you know, plastic one that's not so cute. Doesn't matter as long as you have a place for that stuff to go. If you are lazy like me and will not hang your coat up when you come into the house, we have a coat closet. I'll show you that in a moment. But I do not want to handle a hanger when I come in the house. I'm tired, I am hungry, I gotta use the bathroom. So I have made sure that I've implemented hook storage right in the entryway so nothing is like ro roaming around on the floor, I hate that. This is the flip hook rack from Umbra and it is so cool. You can flip these hooks up when you're not using them and it's a little, a little bit of a cleaner look. But all I have here is my one coat that I'm using for the next few days, one scarf, one purse, 
and one bag when I go out and do, you know, professional things. My husband also has one on the other side for his bike helmet and his jackets and stuff like that. And it really helps keep things off of the floor. A lot of the problems I see with entryways are things just roaming around on the floor, especially shoes. Now we're going to talk about shoes. <laughs> Over on the other side, I have the cutest little bench that I found at Home Goods. It fit right into this corner. And we have a shoe shelf underneath that only has room for two pairs of shoes. I do find that limiting the amount of shoes you can have out in the entryway does help with keeping the clutter down. Because when you really come down to it, you're really only wearing like three pairs at a time at any given you know month long period so maybe you need weather shoes okay cool those will be out but then put the other ones away i don't know that works for us if you need to have a longer bench with some more storage that's totally fine but i always recommend that you keep the shoes down to what you're really wearing and usually it's about two or three pairs maybe even four pairs and keep those down to like your favorites, your regular everyday rotation, and then the rest can go into storage. And if you decide one day that you really wanna wear those red sneakers again, you get those out, you put one other pair away so that those now become your regular rotation shoes. That's, I highly recommend that method. It has worked so amazing for us over the past few years. If you have a dog, I highly recommend giving them separate storage for collars, leashes, harnesses, whatever it is so good to have their own storage that way you're not mingling in their personal space these hooks were actually installed when we moved in and we just didn't move them and they're great they also had a dog so it actually was really helpful we have some other hooks on the side here these don't belong to me these belong to my husband he uses them any way he wants to but i always recommend have some hooks around you will never go wrong with hooks in an entryway that way stuff doesn't end up on the floor on the floor is a bad place for things. Here is our beautiful coat closet. When we moved in to this apartment, it had some weird shelving in there and I rearranged it to be more functional. If you're making a closet, if you're designing a closet and you're tempted to put shelving on three sides, this wall, this wall, and the back wall, I want you to think very carefully about it because it's not always very functional. So this is what the closet looks like today. If you can use the doors of the closet as extra storage. These were actually here. This is the alpha door and wall rack. Always highly recommend. Up here, we just have some dog stuff and lint rollers. One of these baskets is actually empty and one basket I'm using for reusable shopping bags. I always recommend reusable shopping bags in the entryway or in your car. This way, if you're getting ready to go shopping, you just grab one of these and you can go. You don't have to waste uh, a bag. Sometimes in certain areas, they charge for bags. So definitely carry your own and who wants to throw away a bag? No one wants to do that. So in this one, we've got more dog stuff. <laughs> this is basically stuff to clean up his paws if he comes in really messy. There is a bathroom here, but I find the paw wash works just as well water bottle, poop bag situation. And then down here we have boots for Clover. Clover does walk around in icy, salty conditions. So the boots really protect his feet from getting cold and getting damaged. We've got chrome, uh, chromer. We've got Clover's grooming supplies down here. And this side doesn't really belong to me. It more belongs to my husband, but we do have COVID tests here and some other pandemic goodies. <laughs> and this is also where the vacuum pieces live because the vacuum does live over in that corner. The great thing about this closet is this is where we keep a lot of our shoes and I have my out of season shoes up there like the ones I need for summer because right now it's winter and the in season shoes are down where I can find them. So we just have a few shelves dedicated to shoes we're wearing right now. My husband and I share these shelves and down at the bottom we have a boot mat for boots. Again because we live in an area with a lot of weather if we have a lot of snow, rain, ice, all that stuff, we're gonna need a place to store wet, snowy boots. And this is the perfect place. I have a boot mat, which is really awesome because you can move this from the closet to the front of the entryway if it gets, 
you know, really extreme and you need to take your boots off right as you walk in. It's machine washable, which is amazing. So if it gets really gross, just pop it in the washing machine and you're good to go. If I have lots of guests coming over, I will bring out this shoe rack. This is something I recently purchased. It lives in the corner of this closet for now, but you can put one, two, three, four, five extra pairs of shoes there uh, so they don't end up all over the floor. At least that keeps the entryway just a little bit clutter free. It's from Yamazaki. It was super easy to put together and I like how it's nice and minimalist. Over on this side over here, we do have some extra room and I just put Clover's food here. There was no other place for it to really go. We don't have a, hu a super huge pantry. So it's just in this little container and it rolls out. It's very cute. So whenever I need to fill the little container, I just get this one out and I roll the big one back in and I made this little label with my Cricut. Isn't that, that's cute, right? On this side, we have space for long hang coats and we have space for short jackets. We always leave a little extra space for guests if to hang their coats if they come by. This is actually a spider catcher. <laughs> We have spiders sometimes and we instead of we don't kill them We just put them outside. So sometimes if they're big enough I just put them I just grab them with this and it's it's kind of fun actually <laughs> And we have some drawers for all of our scarves and hats and some of Clover's things This one belongs to Eve so I'm not gonna open that one, but this one is mine I have got all of my hats gloves and scarves organized so I can see them another good method is to again do this vertical folding method or vertical organizing method for clothes. It's a life-changing method. You can see everything at a glance. So like if I'm like, I need this scarf, I can see it's right there. If I need this scarf, I can see that it's right there. So it is really, really helpful. And if I haven't mentioned, this is the Alpha shelving system from the container store. It has been so fabulous. You can move it around as you can see that I did because this closet was a hot mess before. In this drawer, I've just got storage for extra purses and about a million and 95 masks. And down at the bottom, we have Clover's weather gear. He's got a snowsuit, a coat, a couple of cooling coats and a raincoat. Not that he wears his raincoat very much because he hates going out in the rain. But I feel like we've optimized storage in this coat closet so much and I actually love going in here and grabbing things. It's so easy to find stuff and it looks cute. So I hope you found this video helpful. I hope it gave you some ideas to organize your entryway. Let me know down in the comment below. I really want to know how many shoes are in your regular rotation. Be honest. Let me know. All right. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.